visual. I see it all. Huh. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started here. Just gonna start by introducing myself. My name is Visual. I'm an artist, creative community builder um, from Chicago based. I'm an educator and I've been doing a lot of things within my community and education, music industry, and just the arts in general, um, from event planning to production, to artist development, to being a recording artist myself, songwriter, and youth advocate, financial literacy and mental health advocate. Most recently got into the NFT space uh, about maybe five to six months ago, just as a collector, um, kind of just connecting with a lot of people, seeing what they're working on, and, and always been a big fan of art. So I easily gravitated to it, and I've been having a good time. So I started a show called IC Web 3, taking people through a couple of my adventures, minting, and kind of figuring out what I was doing, because I've been very lost from the beginning, kind of trying to still figure some things out and uh, walking through them uh, on my journey through YouTube. And it most recently went to Apple Podcasts and Spotify and everywhere else as well, where I'm doing interviews. So that's what I've been up to recently. And um, I want to have my guest introduce himself. He's the creator of Tox. How's it going? What's up, my man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited and looking forward to this conversation here, man. How you feeling? Oh, doing great. Awesome. Awesome. Why don't you introduce yourself to the people, man, so they could uh, know a little bit about what you got going on and who you are. Yeah. So, yeah. So I started on Hen uh, doing clay sculptures and and I thought, hey, what the hell? Let's do uh, let's do a ton of uh, talks. And uh, so, yeah, I, it was more it was more of a can I do it? Can I uh, accomplish that? You know, because uh, sculpting that many, I was like, is it possible? And I think this was before a lot of people actually had done it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, it's, it may, it, like I said, it was such a long, long process of just creating these bastards, you know, and, and just to, like look at them every day and just see them at you, just, just staring back at you. And so I, it was something that's like, is a personal mission. I'm like, I have to finish this and I have to get it done. And, and I'm, and like, we kind of dropped it. Not the best time in the world, of course, but you know, we're going to work on it and just keep going forward. And, and, you know, I, I just made a, a <clears throat> short film today for a, well, I still have a lot more to do, but uh, uh, yeah, it's just shit. I just want to just keep creating, you know? Yeah, man, we're, we're, we're excited to see what else you come up with. Um, you know, you, you, we, me and you spoke a few days ago, man. We, we had a pretty cool conversation, uh, you know, just to kind of get to know each other a little bit. And, and, and you gave me some, some specifics about how, how it kind of led to the path of the talks, man. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you touched on it a little bit right now. Could, could you get in a little bit more detail on how yeah. you kind of got started so, as an artist so, in, in Web3? Yeah, well, so what uh, you and I were talking about that one night was a, uh, inspirations and a lot of my inspiration like i live probably 20 minutes from myrtle beach south carolina and if anyone's ever been there it's 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 a weird place uh so most of my <laughs> sculptures are pretty much based on people that i've seen walking around myrtle beach or you know bartending for 18 years and this area it was just you know, uh, you just get such a wide variety of people. And, and so those are pretty much just my inspiration is just people from Myrtle Beach. Unless I'm doing something, you know, like a Beetlejuice or a, a, or a, a, a eraser head or something like that. Those are more specific. But if it's anything that I've just kind of created that it's not a part of any of that is just, you know, original. It's there's just people I've met, you know at some point in my life that's awesome man and um before you know the talks came out you you had some other stuff that you were working on that's that's kind of what i was uh 
interested in hearing about right now so everybody could kind of know what, what were those projects and, and where were they able to be found and are they still available right now? Uh, I started on Hen and, uh, you know, Hen was this website, terrible UI, but it was, it's just, it, it was such a fun website and, uh, it, it took forever to load anything you wanted, but, but like I said, it was more of like a, a punk rock website. <laughs> and, uh, so, so, but yeah, there's really nothing available. I don't think anymore. I think most of it's all on secondary. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's where I started. I, I mean, technically, uh, I started on Rarible doing these drawings and uh, I got really bored. I, I get really bored easily. So uh, I started doing these drawings and they started doing really well. The first time I meant something, it uh, it didn't go through and I had wasted gas. And it was it, it was at a time in my life too where I couldn't afford, you know, uh, to lose any any money. I have like a, I have an eight year old and a wife. And <laughs> so, so I lost this. I'm like, oh shit, how do I tell the wife? How do I tell her that I just blew all this money i'm like i don't know what the hell to do and then i said you know what screw it i'm gonna try again i was like whatever so i did it again it went through and i remember selling something for about 300 dollars, and i was like oh wow okay somebody liked that very cool and i just kind of kept doing it and then uh i had some pieces that i had made that were um uh not like what i was doing for rareable so i had a buddy who said hey why don't you check out the site hey get nunk I was like, yeah, sure. I'll just give them away for free, and I, I put them on there, and I, I gave them away for free, and they, you know, they they sold pretty relatively quick, and uh, uh, and I think I probably had maybe four hundred Twitter followers at the time, so it was nothing. And so uh, I had some clay around the house, and I've never sculpted before, so I started sculpting, and I started putting those up, and they were just going like fire. I, I, would, I would like within a second they would be gone, and I was like, oh shit, okay, very cool. So then I just kept going on and on and on. And so uh, all these PFP projects were coming out and I really didn't care about them. Uh, and so, but in my head, I was like, what if somebody could do one out of clay? Is it possible? So I started, uh, I bought some colored clay and I was doing uh, a lot of uh, designs trying to figure out how it would look. And it just never had that, uh, uh, it didn't have a look to it with the colored clay. So because I wanted the detail, and to get the detail, I, you know, you got to get it into the nooks and crannies and drawing. You can't really get that with sculpture. So I, I sculpted everything. I took a photo and uh, uh, I went in and digitally colored it so I can just really get in there and get it really nasty in some spots. And, and uh, yeah, it was I, like I said, it was just, can I do it? And, and, I, and, I, and I did. And so, you know. No matter what, I, I, I successfully completed it, and it's probably the first time I've ever done anything like that. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. I love to hear that, and especially, you know, you were mentioning, like, kind of your influences uh, from where you're from and, and just kind of meeting a lot of different people and, and um, those experiences. It's kind of cool to hear that, you know, from the artist himself, uh, oh, where that inspiration yeah. comes from, man. You I just, love it. Like I said, like, when you're bartending for, you know, 18 years and yeah. You hear all the stories and and uh, uh, it's, it, and a lot of it's just like little snippets you get of people saying something. You're like, oh man, it's so funny. And so, so but you look at the person and then I mean, all these images are always stuck in my head, little phrases. And it, and you can look at the, the uh, names of all my pieces. They're pretty much things I've heard people in a bar say or uh, something along that line. So and I'd always kind of just name them after that. That's so great, man. That's so great. And, you know, I was going to ask you, too, man. Um, I, I was looking at, at the detail of the tox, and, and I noticed something today that I didn't really notice before, but there's, I, I see, like, actual, like, fingerprints on them, man. That's, that's, that's kind of crazy to me. Is that, I mean, actual proof right there that I'm looking at that these are, these are handmade? Yeah, the, the, that's the proof that they're definitely handmade. Uh, and when I was making them, I was trying not to put my prints in there because, you know, I don't know if I got a warrant out for me or something like that. So, so but, uh, I would kind of like try to like get it somewhat smooth where you didn't see fingerprints. But once I took it in and started doing the editing and it just, it just comes out, but you know, happy accidents because, uh, that's one thing I think a lot of people gravitate towards is just the actual fingerprints of, on the whole thing. 
yeah i love that man i think that's cool and um that's it obviously adds to some you know the unique qualities of it to you know for me to notice that i was actually looking at it and i was like yo wait a minute i think i'm seeing some some fingerprints man i'm, I'm seeing seeing the actual touch from the artist here man that's that's awesome i love to see that i love to see that um listen you know i saw something the other day man you guys uh tweeted out you guys are, are definitely supporting ukraine man why, why don't we get into that I, i'm very curious to see you know how that how that went and and how that's going and what the, what the plan is with that in general man that's 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 amazing that you guys are doing that yeah we were in this like uh, we had this opportunity you know during the we dropped on the day that that all happened and it really I mean, it, and it was hard for us to even pay attention to talk i mean we were having to pay attention to our project but we constantly had the news going on in the background we're just like oh this is absolutely terrible and uh, uh we were constantly trying to figure out some way to help and then uh, uh we had the idea we're like okay we're not completely minted out yet so why don't we just donate 100 of the funds that we make and uh for the because we were donating 2222 because we dropped on 2222 and uh so we like let's just give a ton of them away and that way if anybody buys it that money's going to a cause you know i mean i'm completely anti-war i i i, I can't stand it <laughs> uh, and uh uh it was you know out of all the utilities and things like that in the world it's like you know making a change and helping people and i think that's fundamentally the most important uh uh really the most important thing especially with our project but it's also you know it's shown that nfts can actually change change the world or you know help people and and like right now i think we've raised almost 20 grand right now that we're uh going but we're just hoping they keep going so because you know more money helps more people and that's what we're all about that's amazing man that's amazing i love to see stuff like that you know i think especially when you have a, a project that's me um you know I, I to me it's pretty clear that it's it's gonna sell out soon um i think the the art's amazing the the community i've been seeing you know over the last few weeks since i minted um seems to be pretty tight-knit and and you know i don't i don't see it really stopping but it's also good to see that it's that it's kind of like um it's moving at a normal pace you know everything um a lot of projects people want to see them sell out right away and they feel like they're not good or they're not you know going to be successful and i'm not a believer in that man i like i like um i like that natural flow and i kind of see that's what you guys are doing man so that's that's awesome i love to see that yeah that's that's kind of how i feel too because you know the whole process of when we were when i was creating these things it was it was a long drawn out process and uh uh and that's kind of how it felt like the project was going to be uh, I never like expected like you know an instant sellout, especially right now, bear market and all that stuff. Uh, but it's going at a pace that that that's actually pretty good because uh, uh, it allows us to think about other ways of doing things and like uh, we're going to be pushing doing a lot of stuff here in the next hopefully couple days uh, to really start pushing more. And uh, uh, yeah, you know, it's just the community's great, man. I, I have so much fun so much fun especially on the discord it's hilarious so many so many good people on on there and that i've gotten used to you know that i know now and uh it's such a it's you know just having a community it's, it's especially a community like around the work that you make i mean it's it blows my mind and even you know it makes you a little teary-eyed a little teary-eyed <laughs> makes you get in your feelings a little bit huh <laughs> oh yeah it hits, it hits you right there you're like oh wow people do actually like your work especially when you like i said when you're working on it for months and months you know and, and to finally see something like you know like oh i love this and, and when you see people trading and showing theirs and being really proud of them just like oh man that's that's amazing but uh yeah so it's but i say yeah i gotta start sculpting again at some point and and uh, I just have, I have so much more I want to do with the project to where, uh, like, I just want to keep creating. And uh, like, I have a couple airdrops that are coming. And uh, we were, uh, 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 I was talking with Dakota today. We were going to, we were going to deploy them like within like, you know, really soon. But then uh, um, I was talking to him and uh, especially for like the holders now, the people that got in there early, like I, I'm like, you know, I'd really like these things to do something, have utility because at first, it was going to be like a, a commemorative airdrop, like, thanks for coming in. And, and it was one of the uh, spaceships that I made, stop motion. 
and I made four of them. And now I'm like, yeah, okay, can they do something? And so now I have this big plan on what they're actually going to do. So I had to talk to our uh, developer today and he's like, all right, I can change this and that and that. So those things are now going to have something, you know, some utility to it per se. Awesome. Awesome. Definitely looking forward to see how that develops, man. Um, you know, kind of kind of going off a little bit of, of um, you know, not necessarily utility, but something that I that I came across um, that you guys were using, I guess, like as a promo piece. Um, and it tied into the story of the talks, man, was that that video. I, I love that, man. I thought that was that was pretty cool. Can you tell me a little bit about like how you guys came up with that and like, you know, what, what was the idea behind you? You know, what's the idea behind the whole story of the talks? Actually, man, I'm I'm pretty interested about that. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, well, we started out doing a uh, sketch comedy. Uh, we had a group called Course of Businessman. So whenever uh, I was thinking of this project, I'm like, you know, let's let's bring the band back together because we had made a video in forever. And so actually, they're actually on the team helping out with the talk stuff. And uh, so it was only natural that we made a made a video. And so we just I had this idea. We had this idea, like, you know, a scientist, you know, explaining the whole story and and uh, all that stuff. And uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, we started out doing sketch comedy and uh, YouTube. Right. Right. When YouTube was pretty much uh, a, it was brand new at the time. And uh, we, used to, we were on the front page of YouTube. They even played one of our videos on like the Jumbotron and Times Square. They flew us to New York and uh, we worked with a bunch of people there who went out to do really great things. And, and uh, after that, we ended up going back to bartending when all our friends go out and do all, all amazing stuff. We're like, all right, whatever. And then the NFTs came around and we were able to pretty much use all our uh, skills, which is, uh, amazing because uh, uh, Scribbles down there uh, he's in our video he's like one of the main guys uh, he's the fisherman actually <laughs> but uh, he uh, uh, he's amazing on especially acting so good but uh, uh, yeah so we we knew that we had a market and I'm like you know we should just do a do a video so we did the video and and uh, I still don't think a lot of people know the videos there like I'll randomly put it up and people are like oh my god I've never seen this I'm like oh it's so funny but yeah we, we just kind of did a it was almost too Wes Anderson, actually, but because uh, I had to cut a couple scenes out, I was like, "Oh my god, it looks too much like Wes Anderson." Even though we were kind of going for that a little bit, just you know, a little avant-garde, just being ridiculous. And uh, uh, but yeah, yeah. So like I said, we just we made sketch comedy videos, and it only made sense to uh, bring it over to the talks. Love it, love it, man. Yeah, I've kind of found the video just tucked in on the site. I was like scanning through and saw it i was like oh hey this this is kind of cool it just kind of blends in into the site man so i don't know maybe you should get that out there a little bit man i think people will enjoy that it's a pretty cool promo piece yeah um, we actually had we had a, we have a couple things we filmed we're trying to figure out how we can edit it and make it better and stuff like that and like like i said today i've been uh busy working on this uh uh I guess you would say it's a short film of some sort, but maybe an advertisement. Like I said, I'm just going to get really weird with the whole talk uh, marketing with it. And, man, yeah, it's I can't wait for that to come out. I'm really super excited. Yes, about this yes. get, get you, weird, man. Get what's, weird. What's funny, if you actually go to my Instagram, I did a little uh, 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 shot of it. You can actually see the uh, kind of what I'm working on, but it's like a, a really quick, you know, it might be like five seconds of kind of how it's going to look but uh yeah it's i'm excited that's awesome that's awesome and i do see we have scribbles here man how's it going it's going good man i'm loving listening to this uh and, and hearing from you guys and um tyler's doing really well today and i'm proud of him <laughs> but I oh, awesome. oh my god well i started I, I, I screwed up right at the very beginning my phone just would like not like i, I would, wouldn't get any sound or anything so i had to like leave come back yes pain in the ass well you're doing great man and uh i think it's because of the comfortability of the space and everything and, and the way you're kind of holding it down and uh visual and stuff so like i just really appreciate um, it yeah man it's just a, it's a, it, every space feels different and in the space i'm just like okay this is comfy these are guys talking about stuff <laughs> super chill man so yeah. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I do my best to make everybody comfortable and make sure, you know, we have a good time, get as much information out there that we're looking for. And um, 
just overall have a good experience man so now that we got you in here scribbles man I'm, I'm curious to hear your insight about that video especially since you're you were part of that process man tell me about it um basically it was just uh you know get up um you're gonna be a fisherman today and then uh they tell me my lines and then i always just add lib stuff but they made me like uh smoke a cigarette for the shot and um i think i ended up going through like three four cigarettes and then uh and I was always having that one leg up on a bucket. And I was like, oh, God. don't forget the dead fish. Yeah, I was holding a dead fish, the whole, like a real nasty dead fish. Had a real I, had, fish. I, had, I had to grab it from a chum bucket. We went to the local uh, 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 fish place. And uh, I was like, you guys have any like ugly fish? Like maybe like skeletons or something? They're like, yeah, check the bucket in the back. So I go to this bucket full of like blood and sludge. And I find this thing, pull him up. I'm like, there's the guy. Just handed it over to Scribbles. I'm like, now hold on to it. So he had to hold on to that for, geez, I don't know, 45 minutes. Yeah, roughly. And then my favorite part too is that the the scene where Tyler um, is coming down the mountain. That actually, that scene was actually filmed at a, uh, a miniature golf course that um, was like secured by uh, by I think Adam on our team or whoever grabbed it and um, allowed us to run amok all over a mini golf course to get these really weird shots where you kind of couldn't tell what, what the hell he was climbing off of. And the best part was, as we made Tyler just keep repeating this, like, kind of dangerous climb down these, like, actual rocks that you should never Yeah, that, that that cliff was probably, what, like, 30 feet high? Yeah. You can't really yeah. tell in the uh, the video because it just looks like it's kind of gliding down. But, no, I was, like, on the back of a cliff, like, just looking down. Like, if I slip, I'm done. So we just kept making him do it over and over and over again. So, so the best cut is the cut that you see in there where he's like, oh, shit. He's like almost slips. And it's like it's so good because he's actually almost dying as he's talking. But uh, making him do it over and over again, it made, it made us all laugh a lot all day. So. <laughs> That's awesome, man. And, and for anybody who hasn't seen that video, I actually just pinned it to the top. Um, it's, it should be right here inside the space. Um, it, it's funny, man. I thought it was kind of a cool video. And, and, and you know what? I, I actually just saw it. Um, like I said, I think I saw it yesterday. And then today I shared it with, with a couple of my uh, friends. And, you know, we're in, we're in a couple of different chats together. And actually, Newfound Voice was here in the room. You know, he was kind of acting like a little bit of a space cadet. And I told him that he reminded me of that fisherman in there and was saying that he's seen some talks. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, that's me, space cadet. Totally. <laughs> Oh man, I love Newfound Voice. That's my guy right there, man. <laughs> but um, man, this is this is great, guys. I I really love this 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 type of vibe right here, man. Um, you know, like I said, when I was I was talking to Tyler the other day about the about the project, man, we had a good conversation, and I honestly felt like I got to talk to Tyler for like another hour or so. But I'm the type of person that's always conscious of people's time, man. So, but um, we're we're, we're definitely gonna get that one-on-one, -on -one, though, Tyler. We're gonna we're gonna make that happen, man. I definitely want to get some more insight from you and, and and something a little bit more formal, so we could definitely get some good conversation going. But um, let's just to reset the room real quick, man. I'm, I'm you know we're here with the Tox Creator. Um, we also got Scribble to join us in, who's on that promo video that we discussed. And, you know, we're having conversations here about the talks, what they got going on, uh, the charity work that they're doing for Ukraine. And, you know, talked a little bit about the background on how everything kind of got started with the talks. And I think uh, we're going to give away a talk or two. Is that right, Tyler? Damn right we are. That's right. That's right. So with that being said i want you guys to kind of get prepared because towards the end you know we're gonna go in here a little bit more talk a little bit more a couple more questions popping at tyler and you know maybe scribbles could pop in and uh give us some insight as well on what he might be you know know about any of the process that i might bring up but um you guys i need you guys to prepare if you guys um you guys got some talents you know if you could sing if you could rap maybe if you have a joke for us Get that together, because that's what you're going to have to do if you want to get this talk or two that we're going to give away. So definitely prepare yourselves for that, guys. I, ho I hope you guys are ready for that. And um, even if you think you're not, you're, you're going to have to be, because I know you're going you're gonna to want to talk. <laughs> so, um, Tyler, let's, let's, um, let's talk a little bit about what, what the talks might be having for themselves in the future, man. Can you give us some insight on what might be coming up for the talks? Uh, I can... We actually had a meeting on that today. I was like, you know, I really want to just say exactly what we're going to do. And I think we're going to like lay it all out here soon. But 
I will say, there's always a chance there's more coming. That's pretty much where I'm at. So basically, you're saying that you can't give me too much detail, right? I I, I, can, I can give you... Uh, you could, come on, you, you know could give us something here, 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 Tyler. You could give us here, something, man. Scribbles, get on. Yo, 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 what's up? Yo, okay. How about you? Do you want to, do you, do you have anything to say? This is my man, uh, uh, pretty much involved with the whole, you know, uh, mythos and all that stuff with these guys. What can we, uh, what can we, uh, what can we, uh, lay out tonight? Am I, my, my free to, uh, let out some, some gems here? Tonight? Yeah, let, let out some gems. Okay. Exclusives, come on, give them exclusive. to us. Exclusive, yeah, let's make it exclusive just for this one. Okay, well, one particular thing about the talks that people haven't noticed is that we, or well, they told us to describe themselves, let's put it that way, and uh, when it was came down to, like, naming things such as, like, um, skins and stuff like that, we, like, rejected that. We hated that. Skins, it just sounded so dumb and antiquated. So we named ours after constellations, and that's what they look like. They're all named after a constellation. But if you look closely at the constellations and the way that quadrants of the universe work, um, if you looked into both of those, both our constellations represented and the way the quadrants of the universe works, you'll notice that there's something amiss with, by comparing those two things. And secondary, and that means something, by the way, and for our future, and secondary to that, um, you know, this is the uh, 75th year of the Roswell, New Mexico incident. Um, in 2020 and uh the talks are i mean excuse me 2022 and the talks are very much uh affiliated with that um some could say that's the reason that the talks are even here today it's because something that went down in roswell new mexico back in 1947 so um <clears throat> that's about all i'm disclosed right now except for people should just watch the stars because uh it can explain a lot about um maybe what the talks intent is i was always saying from the beginning and we've always said this is a group too. It's like um, sometimes we speak as if we're talking to the talks. Sometimes we speak as if we just represent the talks. Sometimes we speak as if we are a talk. It's like it gets hard when you're hanging out with these things all day to keep a constant uh, perception of your own identity because they just talk so damn much and they tell you a lot of things. And some of it's BS. They just talk and talk and talk. And some of it's very important. But those are the two most important things that I can say right now that we've gleaned from being around these little buggers and asking them a lot of questions and when they just want to talk about cartoons and video games mostly all the time but we're trying to get some insight because i couldn't tell you or not if they're good guys or bad guys i have no idea or maybe i do all right that's all for now <laughs> i will say this uh with our airdrops coming up soon uh what i would suggest is th there's there's uh four different uh uh pieces that are coming out but they're all going to be randomly given out so you'll get one and you know somebody else might get a a, a different one uh what i suggest is don't sell them uh you can trade amongst yourself you know and if you like one this person has and the other one like sure say, hey, go ahead and trade it but don't get rid of it just hold on to it because you it's, you'll get something for yeah. it for you're sure. gonna want to hold on to it you're gonna be you're gonna FOMO yourself if you don't hold on to it. So, yeah, definitely hold on. But I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a talkologist. I can't, I can't tell you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, none of us are financial advisors, man. That's for sure. But I, but even myself as a non-financial advisor, I, I think I would say hold on to your talks. I think it'd be a very good idea. And, and Scribbles, from, from the little insight that you're giving me, man, I, I, I'm just going to tell myself, I'm going to come to my own conclusion. And I'm going to say that, um, you know, either we're already, you know, being invaded by the tox or they're already here or an invasion is coming soon. I think they're going to just, you know, come from the sky and, and we got to figure out if, if they're here to, to, to be our friends or if they're here to hurt us. So that's what I'm going to put in my head, man. That's 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 the that's the way I'm going to think about the tox, man. So I'm going to be looking around the corners every time to see if I see a talk around. Yeah, well, you should. And I mean, the thing about it is, is that this, uh, this, this group, the talks that we came down from space, you know, I, I've said this before, but a lot of normal people really can't differentiate them from uh, regular people. Uh, they look just like regular people to uh, even me at first. I mean, I, I couldn't tell what was a talk and what was a tie. Everything looks the same. Real people look just like talks to me. So they've done a really good job disguising themselves and kind of you know being undercover to hide amongst us 
And um, so it's kind of good uh, looking at a room like this with a bunch of, I would say, like all these talks looking at me. Just try to get a grip of who's out there because, um, you know, once these talks uh, have ingratiated themselves and they've become these little lovable buddies uh, and we everyone let them in, um, I, I don't know if that's ever a good idea. I, I haven't figured that out with these things. They won't say. So all I can say is that um, they love to be held and uh, taken care of and um, and everyone will be rewarded for taking care of their little talks. And, uh, <laughs> but you're right, man. It's, it's, you know, we see talks everywhere. I see talks in like, like lights and ever since we started on this talks like that circular logo or the cyclops eye it's like everywhere it's like even in zodiac patterns for instance if, if going back to the stars stuff i mean it's zodiac patterns it's it's all kinds of stuff so it, it just keeps popping back up it keeps talking back up all the time and i'm i'm talking tired of it i tell you that much <laughs> well, that's, that's what's that's what's so weird but that's what's so weird about the project because uh you know right at the very beginning i was trying to come up with like a logo and stuff like that and and the images kept popping up and uh uh i knew these guys were aliens and then uh scribbles would come up and say oh my god look at this picture i'm like holy shit that looks like the logo and i'm like holy cow and it's all space oriented and and there were so many instances just just like that where everything kind of uh it made sense it was like the universe was saying no you're on you're on the right track just just keep going just keep going and uh yeah like happy accidents man it's that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Bullish, I see you. Give us a few minutes here. I'm going to get to you. Um, that's a good friend of mine right there. Bullish, y'all, for anybody that's uh, listening in. And we will be bringing up more people. So please, like I said earlier, if you guys do want to come up to speak, you can go ahead and send those requests in. Uh, if you do get approved before we're ready to, to get you guys on, though, I just ask you guys to hold on. And, um, you know, before we start getting the speakers, we're going to finish up here with the talks. Um, Tyler, I, I got a question for you, man. So I noticed um, specifically on mine that you're seeing here is my profile picture. So he's got that uh, he's got that David Bowie bulk going, man. And I kind of want to know a little bit about like music inspiration for you. Like how big of a role does that play? Because music is like major in my life, man. So when I see stuff like that, I pick up on it right away. You know, I love all kinds of music. I mean, there's not too much music that I probably couldn't talk to somebody about. So I'm just very curious about your your um you know, inspiration, um, that's, that's music based with the talks. Yeah. I mean, music's definitely a tool and it's, uh, uh I mean, especially for, you know, trying to be creative and, uh, and, and all that stuff. Uh, but no, it's definitely a major influence. You know, uh, I grew up in, uh, I think the first album, the first, the first cassette tape I ever bought when I was a kid was Beetlejuice. <laughs> and, then, and then, uh, later on my first, uh, CD uh, was uh, uh, Peter Gabriel So and uh, and that's still one of my favorite albums of all time but I always listen to stuff I mean especially in high school uh, I was the guy don't let him don't let him get him away from get him away from the, the CD player he's gonna he's just gonna depress the hell out of all of us and so but you know I, I grew favorite band wise you know Radiohead's always my top and they're amazing like Aphex Twin uh that kind of stuff but i love i mean i love all music uh from you know country to rap like i i there's really not a genre that i don't like but i'll say now uh in the past probably the past year i've really been listening to more uh more i guess say in instrumental uh not a lot of lyrics uh most of my drives now like my driving music's just you know just more amb <laughs> ambient and uh it helps with the thinking a lot uh because i just kind of got tired of just lyrics i don't know why uh but i still go back to listen to a lot of stuff but yeah just pretty much just instrumental music classical music and that's why i work uh that's pretty much all i play nah man i i understand that a hundred percent with the instrumentals because i i listen to instrumentals like probably half the time when i listen to music because for thinking it's amazing and um you know i'm i'm a songwriter and uh an mc a rapper so that obviously is something that's part of my you know music life is to listen to beats but um just listening to only the music is, is just amazing even like you said on the drive it clears your head um even when i'm just like 
kind of just doing some some work you know just writing something even sending emails or something i'll play them because i feel like it just helps me ease my mind a little bit and, and make those those thoughts a little bit more clear i feel like I, I could almost place like my words over those beats so i feel like it's it's better to not hear anybody else on there because i feel like they're thinking and i don't want to hear their thinking i don't want to hear my own so that's that's awesome i could definitely relate to that man one of the cool ones now i, I just really i mean uh, probably about a year ago i started getting into it low lo-fi hip-hop man i love that it's just it, it, it's i don't play it much i'll probably play it maybe once a week for like maybe an hour or two but uh yeah that's uh, so many good beats of that and yeah uh, i just i just love it 100 percent, 100 percent, man that's definitely one of my favorite genres especially in the last year or so i think it's just so cool and chill and it's it's got that little hip-hop flavor to it a little bump but not too much love, what it, is love the, it what is the website it was like chilled chilled cow i believe where, where the girl the anime girl She's ah a, yes that is yeah. insanely popular yes who yes ever, yes. who ever came up with that it, it, freaking genius because yes because those two images work so well together and even though they, i mean it's basically just writing in a journal or doing homework or mm -hmm. whatever she's doing it just it just it just works so well yes Yes, I think that's amazing right there. Yeah, that's that's funny that you mentioned that because that's that's super popular. Um, you, you you mentioned a couple other music genres, man, and I'm just curious to know, like, you mentioned country, you mentioned rap, you know, um, what, what, who's your favorite country artist? Uh, probably Billy Joe Shaver. The out. Uh -huh. Well, okay. So when I say country, I mean like outlaw country. The new country is pretty bad. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> I don't pop. know. It's pop, and it's just yes, I know. It's absolutely, <laughs> it's dribble. It's it's just terrible. And uh, I think I might have even heard a, a country singer rap most recently. I was like, "What is going on right yeah, now?" Yeah, <laughs> and how and how they uh, and how they dress and everything. It's just so because it, it, it's not country to me. Because yeah, you know, my I mean, even I, country died in I think the nineties uh, when you had like Alan Jackson and and uh, all and all those guys, and uh, <laughs> that's pretty much I mean uh, uh, Dwight Yoakam and. All those uh, artists and uh, yeah, and that's that's uh, that, that's country music. That's country, but more or less outlaw country. You know, Waylon Jennings and all those Johnny Cash, all those guys. Yeah, that's awesome. How about favorite rapper? Oh, okay. This is a uh, this. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I like I, I know pretty much all Cypress Hill. Uh, I love Cypress Hill, Hill but uh, uh, rapper Kanye, I uh, uh, I love Kanye, which you know a lot of people hate on him, but you need you need those people out there. You need those people who are just you know you don't know what they're gonna say next. I mean, you can't have everybody just you know normal and all agreeing and stuff like that. You got to have that one wild card. And Kanye's definitely the wild card. Man, well, I, I I got a I got a special special place for Kanye, man. Um, you know, from from the artist to the fact that he's from my city, and um, I think he pushes the envelope, man. So he's 100%. one of my favorites. One of my favorites. I think the guy just has no fucking limit to what he's gonna do, and he he started as a hip hop artist and has just become like just an artist, and I love that about him. I think it's amazing. Oh, That's he's awesome. one. He's one hundred percent an artist. Did you see his new video? Uh, it was pretty much stop motion. I know I had the Pete Davidson uh, uh, thing in there where everybody was really angry at, <laughs> but it's art. It's what it's, to me. I'm like whatever. I don't. I, it's it's not hurting anybody, but I, I don't know. I mean, I can see. I can understand why people got upset about it. But the first shot of that uh, uh, video, the church, it was just the black church, and it had the the white background or was it a white back i can't remember but it had the fire come out the side and that was man that was such a great shot like you see things like that and you're like oh, man why didn't i do that like you know because i do a lot of uh i had a lot of religious stuff to a lot of my uh work and just because i grew up with it and uh, uh and uh when i saw that and i'm like man that's such a great shot like why how, like who thought of that it's just amazing just how just like it's not perfect and it's not um uh it, it looks like it was just cut out with paper and you know they're they're animating the fire right there and everything about that shot was absolutely gorgeous and that, I, and that's probably one of my favorite shots i think in a music video when i saw that i'm like something about it just struck me i'm like man that's absolutely amazing yeah man he's he's awesome he's got some great ideas i'm sure he had a lot to do why why that shot looked that way um, you also mentioned Cypress Hill, man. Um, does that 
lead me to assume that the tox are 420 friendly? I'm pretty sure they're 420 friendly. I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't really partake that much. I haven't done it in, geez, probably years. I get really bad panic attacks. But I will say one of the uh, one of the fun, funniest times ever was uh, it was the day uh, Chappelle show uh, premiered, and uh, all my friends went to a um, uh, we went to his apartment, and we're like, all right, we're gonna watch Chappelle show. It was the very first episode. And friends brought out the gravity bong. I was like, "All right, let's <laughs> let's 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 do it." I've never laughed so hard in my life watching uh, a show. But the worst part about it was on the way home. It was foggy, and uh, uh, and I thought I was like driving through heaven. I was like, "My God, this is this is insane." And as I was driving, the rearview mirror, I, I looked into the rearview mirror, and I jumped and screamed because. I thought I saw somebody sitting in the back seat, but I didn't realize the rear view mirror was pointed at me. So I saw my own reflection and freaked out, <laughs> got home and, and then the AC turned on. It was saying, Tyler, 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 Tyler. So I had a major panic attack. And ever since then, I just really haven't done it as much, but I know a lot of people on the team, they, they enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. I know you do scribbles. <laughs> man, you know, I, let me ask you a serious question, man, because um, you know, honestly, I could, I can relate to that panic attack, man. That's that's honestly the main reason why I actually stopped partaking, because I used to partake a lot in 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 weed in any way that you could, man, and um, it kind of just started to mess with me a little bit. Um, was that like your only experience, man, or do you feel that, that a couple of other experiences led up to that? Because I'm just curious to know, man, if other people have, have had that type of experience. I think a lot of times, you know, especially with, with weed, man, you, you smoke it for so long and, and you don't realize, like, it's kind of fucking with you. And, and I, it took me a while to realize that. So was that something that, that was going on for a while with you or, man, or was it just that one experience that you said, yeah, I, I got to stop this shit? No, it, I mean, it definitely happened. Uh, it, more or less, it happens more than uh, that's pretty much the reason why I just I just don't do it. My problem also is is uh i want to just sit on the couch and go to sleep i people say take this is it'll keep you up and it has the opposite effect on me i just want to pass out and uh, uh we were actually in uh we were in chicago i think i told you the story we were in chicago uh, a couple months ago and uh, uh i guess i ha had had covid at some point because my smell and taste have completely changed i never got sick but everything was just different and and walking through chicago I mean, you smell it a lot, and I just kept smelling this smell. I'm like, what the heck is that smell? It smells terrible, and it was making me nauseous. And everybody's like, oh, that's weed. I was like, I'm like, really? I was like, it smells completely different. I'm like, yeah. And uh, uh, we were on a boat, and somebody was doing. It. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. So I think now I'm pretty much. It's probably just never probably gonna happen. I live. Yeah. I can relate. go ahead, Scribble. I can go right through a one one crazy anxiety story because I. I basically like here in South Carolina, Delta eight gummies are legal. So I eat like one Delta eight, very mellow high, whatever. And, um, because weed is still illegal here. But then, um, I went to, uh, I went to a Philadelphia with my girlfriend, Liz, she's on here somewhere. And, um, we had to move some stuff out of her old house. And our friend Sean was like, gave me some edibles, like right before we were about to walk out in Philly, gave me some edibles. And he's like, do you want to rip this, uh, bong thing? And it was like insane. And I'm a very light partaker. I'm an old man. I just do like gummy and leave me alone. But anyway, I ripped this bong. And so then they take me around Philadelphia. And I'm like so lost. I feel like we've gone like 900 blocks. And they're like, we're only three blocks away. And I'm like, okay, where are we going? Like we're going to this really good barbecue place. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was just gone, man. And then it was like COVID going on there too. So like even my perceptions of being in a big city uh, after like leaving South Carolina and going to Philadelphia and they had like plastic up everywhere and you couldn't order a drink. No one could do a drink and you had all this stuff. So I felt like I was in a very surreal world anyway. So now I'm high as hell. And I keep telling Sean and Liz who are like, he Sean's high. Liz isn't, but Sean is, and he's good at, good at being high. I'm not. So I said, is this a Dickie's barbecue restaurant? And they were like, no, this is not a Dickie's barbecue restaurant. I said, no, it is a Dickie's barbecue restaurant. This is bullshit. They're using the same tablecloth, the same things over here. The cornbread's the same. This is a fake Dickie's barbecue restaurant. And they were like, okay, 
no more pot for you because I was like going through the roof that there was this vast conspiracy that I, someone had a, someone had disguised a Dickie's barbecue restaurant as something it was not. And uh, yeah, it took me forever to come down that night. And that was um, that was way too much, man. That's all I know. So that's my one. Yeah, anxiety. I can get especially if it's um, it's kind of doesn't matter the strains anymore, but it, I usually go for the, the 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 downer stuff, you know, instead of the speedier stuff, because obviously I'm, I'm very like I'm not on anything right now. This is how fast I talk normally, so I don't even need anything <laughs> to make me speedier. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man! That's awesome. I love it. I love it. But yeah, man, I think when when you have those experiences like that, you got to really question, like, yo, what what's going on, man? There's something that's happening to me. So that that's hilarious, though, man. Those 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 um experiences definitely jolt you a little bit, so that's definitely a trip. Um, gentlemen, let, let, let's talk a little bit about um something that we got coming up um next week. Actually, man, I'm not sure who exactly is gonna be out there with you, Tyler, but I know you'll be with us, man. We have an event um during South by Southwest. We're gonna be on Sixth Street in downtown Austin, Texas, at a venue called Peckerheads, and we're gonna be having guest speakers. We're gonna have people performing i'm gonna be hosting the events um gonna be moderating the panel discussion and i'll actually be performing as well be doing a live twitter space from the venue we got a lot of great speakers a lot of people get involved in different ways even people that won't be there actually live with us will be involved in some sense and um tyler i'm just curious to know man like what, what are your thoughts on south by southwest have you been there before um is anybody else coming out with you what do you guys got planned for us that day I've never, I've never been, I've never been, I've never been to Austin, Texas either. Uh, so I'm really excited about seeing there. One of our good friends, his name's Yonder. He just, uh, he just moved out there uh, a couple, a couple months ago, and uh, he's. I, I can't wait to meet up with him and actually get to hang out with him again. But no, yeah, South by Southwest. I'm, I'm I mean, I'm excited. Uh, I've been working on my, uh, my speeds, trying to figure out the delivery and stuff like that. Trying to figure out the attire. I don't know what to wear. So I feel like I, I saw a, uh, a photo or a video of John Lennon. This long, he almost looked like a priest, but with like the long black coat and the, yes, the yes, wear long, that big hat, wear that. Yeah, wear that. Like, I wear that. He almost looked like the bad guy from uh, Poltergeist two or three, or you know that guy. So in my head, I'm like, oh, I could be that guy. I'll just be the Poltergeist guy. So if people ask like, oh, John Lennon, I'm like, nah, man, Poltergeist fucking amazing if, if, if you come in there with that outfit man I'm, I'm taking like at least 10 pictures with you so I don't think I'm a creep I'm just gonna love the outfit and, and the fact that you you had the balls to wear that shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah it'll be fun I don't know if my, my wife's uh she's she's going with me but uh I don't know if she'll how she'll feel walking around with me like that but you know what? who cares who cares I got you know you gotta you gotta make a splash even if I look like the poltergeist dude and I actually kind of look like the poltergeist dude in real life so it's, it, it makes sense <laughs> wow look like the poltergeist guy in real life that, that's that's yeah rough, man. these nft projects man they'll, they'll they'll put a hurting on you for sure <laughs> you, <laughs> you know we, teeth, i don't know we we had the cameras on the other day man you didn't look that rough to me man but i don't know who knows maybe you had some good lighting going on definitely the lighting i used to my wife's <laughs> blush put that on you know oh my i wasn't God. wearing it, so that's the worst part i'm like i'll wear this jacket i might look professional if i do that but yeah that's hilarious, man. So you've never been to Austin, Texas, man. Never been to South by Southwest. Wow. How long are you going to be out there? Uh, I'm flying out, I think, the 16th. And uh, we're coming back. We were going to come back the 18th because I, I just have so much work to do, and uh, especially for the project. But uh, uh, my wife convinced me to, uh, she goes, we should just take one day of just, you know, exploring Austin. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. You're right. So... So, yeah, so I'm going to fly back on the 19th. Nice, nice. I think you're going to enjoy it, man. It's it's a it's a really cool town and um, lots of awesome things are doing, especially during South by Southwest. It's kind of like it's just insane, man. There's just obviously the whole city comes out. People from all over the world are there. So it's a pretty crazy, pretty crazy time. And um. And, and so the fact I'll, fit, I think in, I'll that, fit in. I'll fit in looking like Poltergeist guy, right? Dude, you you will fit in. And I was okay. gonna say, and the fact that Austin's like slogan is "Keep Austin Weird," that's dude. You're gonna definitely fit in. That is literally their slogan: "Keep <laughs> Austin Weird." I, I can do that. I'll, I'll bring some more weirdness to it for sure. 
the tax the tax will fit in perfectly man so I, so i'm loving it i think that's going to be a good time man definitely looking forward to that and 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 meeting you in person um that's that's something that um you know a, a lot of web3 stuff that's been going on with me the last few months since i got started it's all come to like in real life and and it's it's pretty amazing how it's all come together because you know my pretty much my whole music career i've met people online and you know done a lot of work with people from all across the the world and um i haven't met too many of them in person but in a matter of a few months i've met a bunch of people in person from web3 and it's it's pretty amazing man i love that experience and definitely looking forward to to meeting you guys um while while i'm over there in austin it's going to be a blast oh, yeah web3 this whole the whole nft thing it's it's really been it's been uh it's been great you know i just met so many good people uh uh Kel, Kel's boo right there he's on there I, uh, i've met him and i met he was one of my collectors and then i, I met him in uh new york at i had a uh they put one of my pieces in a art show up there so uh first time ever i was like oh cool i'm gonna i'm in a, i'm in an art show it's in, it's in manhattan oh wow really cool but uh, i went up there i met him and i've just met so many good people and uh <laughs> that's the one thing about this is like i said just the community and just how everybody's uh just so accepting and forgiving and 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 all that stuff but i mean because you never know you, you could do something you're like oh my I'm, that, the next piece i put up is gonna be awful and everyone's gonna hate me and my career is ruined but that's never the case that everybody everybody's just so great yeah man definitely definitely a lot of good people man it's it's, it's definitely been a great experience and i'm uh, looking forward to see what else comes out of it um so Tyler, man, I think I'm going to start bringing up some people, see if they got some questions, some insight from us. And also as well, you know, once we get to these questions, I think anybody that we bring up, we're also going to see uh, what they might have for us to see if they want to win a talk. So guys, this is your time right now to start sending in those requests. If you're not already in here as a speaker, send your requests now, start sending them in and we'll bring you up one by one. I just ask that you guys please wait patiently until I call you up to speak. And then we'll get to you with whatever questions, feedback you have. And um, we want to definitely hear those talents because I know you guys got something out there. But uh, let's I, get I wish, to I bullish. Wish Penny, I wish Penny G oh. were here right now. Oh, man. Could you imagine if we had something like that? That'd be amazing. Is there If there's a Kenny G in the audience right now, please, I need you to come up. If, if you've got your your, your Kenny G skills, or bring if, them or up. Or if anyone knows Kenny G, just please. please <laughs> just, <laughs> you, just, give him Tyler, my you think him. you think talk you you think uh kenny g will be a talk guy man I, I don't know i don't know maybe though huh uh, i don't i don't know but I, I i sure am a kenny g guy <laughs> that's all that matters song man. Bird, you know love it love it let's uh um let's get to uh bullish what's good bullish what's on your mind hey good evening good night good morning everybody um yeah actually you know what i was I keep staring at these talks and I love the backgrounds, how they complement the colors of the talks, number one. Number two, I think they would look fierce on just a t-shirt alone and they're great conversation pieces. Like, you know when something just makes you want to talk about something? Like these guys, and maybe you can do a play on words like get talking, get it, talking. Um, I, I don't know, I think that's that's cool, I mean listen to your story. Um, seeing how kind of your taste in music kind of when you work and helps you create. I like that. Um, I'm a big country fan myself from way back from, unfortunately, Reba and, and Brooke stays, but, um, I love current country as well. Um, I miss, I love concerts in general. Like I think concerts and, and art go hand in hand and, um, I'll be at South by Southwest as well, so I look forward to meeting everybody. Um, and I've met a couple of people already in real life, which was kind of awesome as well. I went to Chicago to visuals event, um, but yeah, no, it's it's really cool what you guys are doing and keep it up. And I watched the video and it was quite funny, entertaining um, from somebody who doesn't like touching fish myself. Um, to that fish that was kind of like fish mongered that was interesting i'm sure the smell was pleasant yeah it was um, it was a nasty fish <laughs> yeah you know um it was funny because i looked up uh, a joke i'll tell two actually um the one joke was what do you call 
a fish with no eyes? I don't know. Tell us. Fish. F S H. <laughs> um. Wow. <laughs> it was kind of bad, but I liked it. Um. And then um. Okay, hold on. How do you light up a soccer stadium? How? A soccer match. <laughs> I've never heard that one. That was pretty good. Yeah, I, 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 I had to choose something different. That's a dad joke right there. I, yeah, I like I it love just because it's a dad, dad joke. Me, I love no, the I mean, dad mom, jokes, man. I love that dad jokes. That's the main my, thing. Like, I'm one, one of my favorites is uh, one of my favorites was uh, two antennas got married. Uh, the wedding was okay, but the reception was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's great that's great thanks bullies for coming up and yeah, um awesome. great project appreciate guys. appreciate that those those uh those jokes right there I see we got a couple more speakers uh Yo, let's bring on. up what's pete. up guys? what's good what's good oh. pete i was literally about to call you in what's the word what's going on with everybody man i'm glad we got the talks in here um first thing i want to say though you can't be in here fudding the bud bro don't fud the bud you guys are in here talking all these crazy stories about cannabis and this and that, man. I'm not with that, bro. So I just wanted to say that first off. <laughs> my guy Pete's a, a big, big cannabis connoisseur, so I, I don't think he enjoyed my my uh, bashing of the bud, man. I, the I apologize, bud's not going Pete. anywhere. The bud apologize, is here to man. Stay. This bud's for you. I I wish I wish I could do it because I I, I wonder if I, I I would work better. While, while doing it, but I'm just so scared. I would just, like I said, sink into my couch. I was, I was just joking, man. I just heard too many. There was there was no one in here speaking up, so I just had to say something. <laughs> scribble, scribble. Well, he was talking good about the bud, man. He said he still partakes. He just wanted to share a you know a crazy story, but he definitely had some good I'm things to say about the bud. I'm on like three edibles a day. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's more than you, Pete. That's 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 at least one more than you. Yeah, for okay. sure, for sure. Edibles do I, I can't handle edibles. But, Me but anyways, they, they just laugh forever. Yeah, but anyways, man, I, I'm super happy that, that this all came about, man. We see we got a bunch of tox in here. Um, I, I'll share a quick story about um, talking to the tox. I just basically thought it was a dope project. Like, I forget who it was, if it was Visual or Newfound Voice. Someone started with the tox, and I was like, man, these little, these little things are dope. Um, especially when I found out they were made from clay and then I, I jumped in and had one or two and basically just thought, man, it would be dope to get these guys in Texas and man, just the way you guys, you know, communicated very easily and right through the discord and being able to put this happen pretty quickly, man, that just shows a lot of, a lot about you guys. So shout out and salute to you guys for that. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's def definitely awesome, man. Definitely awesome. Um, we'll get to a couple more speakers right now. I just um, wanted to share. I got a DM from my homie Dedos that's here listening, but he's on a desktop, so he can't he can't come up to speak. But he wanted me to share this joke with you guys, and um, it's um, you got to tweet others how you'd like to be tweeted. <laughs> that's um. Another one of those dad jokes. Wait, that, wait, that wait. We wait, gotta appreciate. I had a, I had a you got, notification and it you, just popped up and I just went blank. I'm like, no. <laughs> it says you, 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 he said you have to tweet those. So you have to tweet others the way you'd like to be tweeted. <laughs> I think that's from the Bible, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think, I think um, that might have been straight from the Bible, man. Moses had that in the, in the commandments somewhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, who else do we have in here? I see we got. Um, let's go to A Harvey. What's up, A Harvey? What's on your mind? Hey, what's up? How, how you, how's everyone doing? We're good. We're good, man. What's the word? Uh, it's pretty late here in the UK, but I'm absolutely pissing myself listening to you guys. I'm also s smoking too. <laughs> Which I'm doing, obviously. Pete, wait, Pete the Eth. You got, yeah, there you go. We got one. Yeah, man. There you go, Pete. That was for you, Pete. Yeah, the tax. We out here. Yeah. I just can't stop staring at him. And I do fucking see him everywhere. 
Oh shit, man. Yeah, those yeah. talks, they got a little bit of a they got that type of feeling, man. So um especially, what's up, though, especially, man? especially on the on the smoke, you know, you can hear everywhere. <laughs> Dude, I think they might appear a little bit more when you're on the smoke. But yeah, I I so I was I was living in America for like six years and then uh had to come back in October. So I'm still like on a really crazy US time zone. So I'm always up at crazy times and, and late at night here. But I just wanted to say the project is amazing. Oh, and thank you so much. Like, the artwork is just crazy. And I didn't realize you were also part of like mental health. So that's also made me like, oh shit, you know, listening in. So I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, especially during these, uh, I mean, I've always had, like, problems here and there, but especially during, like, during these projects and things like that, it can get really, really, really hard, and sometimes you just have to, like, sit back for a couple hours. Like, I went to see the new Batman movie, and it was three hours long, so it was kind of stopping me from going to see it, because I'm a big Batman fan, but because I'm like, I don't have three hours to give, but I said, you know what, I'm going to take three hours, and I'm just going to, I'm going to sit there and not think about anything, but batman so i did that and it helped but you know it's like even like picking up like meditation and stuff like that i actually just because of this project i actually kind of i just started doing that maybe a couple weeks ago and it's it's definitely helped out a lot and uh that's and yeah so if anybody had if you don't do it you, you should at least try it if you suffer from like you know certain mental health things because it really helps put your mind at peace I think for me, like the the change in weather, honestly, because <clears throat> like, so I was living in Savannah, Georgia, and it's humid as fuck there, and it's always hot. And then I moved to Tennessee as well, so I was in Tennessee, and that's quite hot. Now coming back to the UK, it's really grey. It's great. I don't know. It's hard to de- hard to describe. It's like it's just gloomy. So I have to take like vitamin tablets and. But yeah, I know I need to get out, you know, I, I don't, I, I do get out, obviously, but I need to get out more, definitely. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you know, go outside, take a walk or, or do something, but yeah, it, it's definitely hot down in Savannah. Uh, we live, we don't live far from there, and uh, uh, you get that, the, that southern humidity is just, like I say, it's like a chowder. I lived out in Arizona for a while, and uh, everybody says, you know, it's uh, it's a dry heat, so it's a lot better. But it was just bad for me out there just because my nose, constant nose bleeds and, and all that stuff. So uh, I found out I worked a little better in the humidity, but it's still just absolutely awful. And then seasonal depression is completely me. Once winter hits, I'm just, uh, bleh. Yeah, but yeah, thank you. for. I appreciate y'all having me up. No doubt, man. Hey, hey you, Harvey, man. do you have um, do you have a joke for us, man, or or, or you got some some bars, maybe? Yeah, or, I got, or can I you sing a little bit for us? Give us something, man. I'll give you a joke. Uh, what do you call a lady with one leg bigger than the other? <laughs> Not sure, man. What you got? Eileen. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's too bad, isn't it? I like it. I like it. I'm telling no, you, it was man. great. You did great. It's almost like those bad ones are some of my favorite ones, man. I love it. Did you ever see the Norm I've, McDonald? I've got a few bars, on... too. I've got a few bars, too. <laughs> like the Norm McDonald where he did the roast, I think, the Bob Saget or, or somebody. And uh, it was just, he was just saying, like, just no jokes whatsoever. And that was probably one of the funniest things in the world. Because, you know, sometimes just bad jokes are sometimes way better than you know the best joke or the funniest joke in the world i agree i agree man that's that's awesome that's awesome I'm not a few um, bars there if you want a few bars bars hey sure why not let's let's hear some bars man let's hear some bars but um what yeah let's get to those bars then we'll, we'll, we'll we gotta bounce over to somebody else go ahead with those bars though where should i start and then where should i begin i've got loads of high grades thinking out my tin Man wants to take it and stick it in the bin. I don't think so. Hashtag win. <laughs> yeah, right? That's not, that's not too. That's, that's, All right. 
Not too yeah. bad, not too bad, yeah. man. Not too bad. Nothing we'll see. Bad. We'll see how that goes, man. Me and uh, me and Tyler are gonna figure out how how to give these talks away. We'll see. We gotta kind of keep track of everybody, Tyler. Here, man. It's I don't want it to get too out of hand. And you know who who's coming with the with the good comedy and and the, and the bars and everything. So let's let's keep track of who we wanna, how we're gonna give these out, man. I'm not sure if you might have a plan or maybe Scribbles could help us figure out who who we wanna give them out to. But um, let's get let's get to another speaker here. Let me see who we got. Um, guys, if I don't call you in order, I apologize, but it doesn't really give me an order here of who came up. So I do. Uh, I'm gonna try to go off who I've been seeing pop into the room and, and sending in speaker requests. So let's get to uh, Shizzle. Yo, what is going on, everybody? What's up, Liz? What's up, Candice? What's up, Scribbles? What's what up, up? Pop? What's up? What's up? What you guys? Everybody's complaining about humidity. I'm sitting in here with 15 degree weather in here in Denver, Colorado. So I love to trade places with some of you guys right about uh, now. <laughs> I feel you, man. I'm in Chicago, man. I still got that cold over here, man. Man, it's brutal here in Colorado, bro. I hate it. This is our snowy season. So it, uh, we got one more month this month in, in April, man. So. And then it'll be sunny, sunny days here. But I just want to say uh, congratulations once again, Tox, uh, on, on the project. It's a beautiful project. You too. And um, sorry, I was grabbing some food here. But uh, yeah, I just want to say hey. And uh, looking forward to meeting and seeing more Tox. And uh, keep up the good work. Shizzle, thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much, Shizzle. Yeah, I got a joke yeah. as well, too, if you need a joke. Hit, hit oh, us yeah. with that hit joke, us. man. Hit us with that joke. But before you tell us that joke, man, what, what, are you, what are you having for dinner tonight, man? I'm curious. Oh, so Popeye's chicken, man. Let's go, Popeye's, <laughs> man. Let's go. What, wait, what did you get, though? What did you get? I got a whole bunch of shit. I got some spicy tenders. I got uh, some popcorn shrimp. I got some mashed potatoes. All sorts of junk. Shit, Shizzle, you going to sleep after that, bro. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's definitely knockout time here in about an hour from now. But yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but my joke, and then I'm off of here. The inventor of Velcro passed away. Rip. <laughs> I've never Cold heard blooded. that one before. That one's pretty good. Cold blooded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I dig it. I dig it. That's, that's what I'm talking about right there, guys. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's good stuff. It. I got rugged. What was it? The joke was uh, the inventor of Velcro passed away. Rip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Appreciate that, Shizzle. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see who else we get to in here. I, um... Let me see. I think I've seen. Let's get to let's get to Greg Smith. What's up, Greg? All right. How are you doing? Good. Good. What's up? What's, man? Uh, so what's up, Greg? Yo, yo, yo. You all right? Um, I, yeah. I just want to say, love the community you're building. I think it's fantastic. Crack on with it, boys. It's it's going it's going well. My first NFT project. This absolutely bob on. Thanks, man. I'm glad glad to have you on. I talked to you quite yeah. a bit in Discord, man. Um, yeah, I'll yeah, man. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. I'm so glad it's your first one. I spoke to you on Twitter as well, and it's um, I love you, yeah, like your young ones projects and stuff like that. It's it's good. Uh, I really I really like it, and I like I, I just I just like the community. It's good. Uh, thanks so much, man. Uh, that means a lot for sure. Definitely. Uh, I'll tell a joke as well if you want. Yeah, yeah. Let's get, oh, let's yes, get that please. joke. Why not? Everyone else is doing it. Um, how to talk solve the jeans up. How? Asteroid belts. <laughs> You're welcome, That's a good one. I'll see you later. That's good. Uh, yeah. That's good. Have fun. That's a good one. It's good stuff right there, Greg. Let's see who else we can get to here. Let's get to... Hold on, I had you, I had you, and I lost you. The way Twitter does this, man, has to change. It's it's such a mess. Um, yeah, I was Sanchez hosting one, Matt, one time, and I was getting all nervous because I'm like, I'm fumbling around. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to do something wrong, kick everybody out. 
Yeah, and it moves everybody around too, man. As people pop in and out of the room, it moves all the icons around. So you have vision of somebody, and then they kind of move. It's it's just a pain in the ass, man. But uh, let's get to uh, yeah, R Rich O Three Sanchez Madison. Let's get it. Hey, hello everybody. It's me, Richo. How you doing, guys? How are you, my friend? Hello. <laughs> very well, very well. Well, I'm here just. Uh, I want to support the supporters and I enjoy very much the project and it's been amazing to be with you on Discord and well, great man, turkey bacon sandwich, you know, we like it like that, peace out bro. I do want to say that um you know a lot of people shout out the discord and the community and stuff like that and that's something um we really took a lot of pride in building and stuff like that and no one's better at that than uh than really liz who just really holds it down everyone in, who's been in the discord knows who liz is and candace and um canned ice excuse me but then as far as like the beyond our team and and all of that it's like it start it starts really a few months ago it started really feel like a network of people all with like a common interest which was the talks or supporting the talks people making us artwork people baking cookies that looked like talks and you know, just sharing stories um and people have been there to encourage each other stuff like that and so it's just been like this kind of um really weird thing where it's like no we actually have an actual community space and i can go talk to these people and i know who they are and check in with their day and make a joke and they understand and it's just it's, it's really weird how these kind of projects actually do um really require a community and also um you get the beauty of watching the community build itself it's just an amazing experience i gotta i gotta give a shout out to our community they are like the they're the blood pumping through our veins i mean you know we're not just selling like uh art we're just we're selling ourselves and we're selling the uh the concepts that we have and then we're just we're rewarded so much by the people that uh care about us so i just want to say thank you again to them well, you've heard a few of them tonight actually <laughs> Yeah, 100%. Exactly what he said. He said it so much better than I would. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Definitely great to see, man. Your 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 holders definitely came out, man. The supporters are here. I love it. I love it. Especially as a holder myself, man. It's it's awesome to be part of this and uh, to help facilitate this conversation with you guys, man. It's dope. Loving it. Let's get uh let's get to a familiar face over here, man. He's uh he's my my space cadet homie, newfound. What's good? Yo, 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 yo. See, see what I mean? Space Cadet. Space Cadet, man. He couldn't even pop in on time. Space Cadet. Total Space Cadet. No, see, the thing is, I'm ready. I'm ready. See, I'm ready for this. This is what, I'm, this is what I was born for. See, today, be, see, this comedy stuff is right up my alley. Today being Taco Tuesday, and you guys being toxic, I got a taco joke. Bro, it is, it is taco Thursday, bro. Hey, bro. You're going to mess up my joke, oh, bro. It's how Thursday, taco oh, stay great, you see bro. what I mean? Bro, you how you going to mess up my joke, G? How do you say grace? This bro? guy is a space cadet. He said it's Taco <laughs> Tuesday, guys. <laughs> see, how do Taco say grace? Let us pray. <laughs> get it come on cuz give me that one all right one more one more let me see what i got for you <laughs> did you hear about the italian chef who died no he passed up i'm sorry i fucked it up he passed away damn it <laughs> I have a question for Newfound. Who puts oh lettuce my in the taco? Mm -hmm. That is the best question. What Who happened? puts lettuce in a taco? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Only like Google. Those taco Google Google does. From... Google puts lettuce on the. Ta Listen to me. Listen to me. Google put lettuce on the taco. This is a Google joke. I literally yeah, Google two jokes. We can tell you you Googled that <laughs> shit. Uh, I my can't buddy. say the jokes I want to say on here because I'll get canceled. Those my are old buddy, jokes. My buddy, the space cadet, man. I'm telling you. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, man. We'll give you a few days to catch up, man, for it to actually be Taco Tuesday, bro. I appreciate you popping in though with your crazy ass. Speaking of tacos, we need to go get some at South by Southwest. And Ooh, we're getting tacos. There's a taco place next door. Yeah, next door to the venue. 
We were gotta- yeah, chupacabras, baby. Oh boy, we eating. Yeah, I'm. A, I mean, we. Yeah, Tyler, you gotta have some tacos with us next door, dude, for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a taco, I'm a taco junkie. That's pretty taco much. Taco junkie, that's what I'm yeah, talking about. My kind of guy, see me. But, but it. I do, oh, I do yeah, put yeah. lettuce on my tacos. Hey, it's all good, man. You know, you got, you got the two versions, man. You got the authentic, you got the traditional. You know, the traditional is what you like. You know, the, the they say uh, lettuce, tomato, some sour cream and cheese, maybe. Yeah. I'm more like there. authentic, man. I'm, I'm the, the cilantro and, and, and onion guy. Yeah, my, oh, my, yeah, little advice, my little yeah, advice for uh, South by Southwest tacos is the the more suspect the place looks, the better their food will be. Oh, well, that's life. What do you mean, that's South by? That's for life, bro. If if it's a hole in the wall, it looks like you'll get murdered, robbed, or stabbed. Then it's got amazing food. Paleo ain't and simple. Yeah, baby. I want to tell you guys a really quick uh, thing about the tacos that you guys are talking about. Tacos. It's really weird you say that. Originally, this product called tacos and it was going to be 10,000 generative tacos and uh, no way <laughs> no way no, no fucking wasn't. way we found out someone had done it no fucking that way <laughs> holy shit <laughs> wait <laughs> <That's> <laughs> maybe the generative tacos <laughs> maybe he shit. came out with those gummies you know <laughs> Yo. I was gonna say, man, Tyler didn't tell me nothing like that, dude. That's that's <laughs> fucking amazing. Oh, Scribble, thank you for that one. I think that might be the best joke yeah, of the night. Like that's the fucking hilarious. Are like, you, I got lettuce and onion on mine. It's like, oh, I got a, I got a finger. <laughs> oh my god. Cause you know what? Now somebody's definitely gonna come up with that project, man. You're gonna have the soft shell, the the, the hard shell. You're gonna have the fucking flour, the corn. Oh my goodness, it's coming. Oh, you can, you can, you can Somebody the, in this room is dropping an NFT soon. It's going to be a fucking you know? taco project. Yeah. The toppings are unlimited. Tacos and burritos, baby. That's hey, that's a hell of a utility, too, man, if you come up with a taco project. Hey, I, I actually got a serious question, though. What's going on? Do, can we use the, the IPs to these? To, I know. Visual yeah, yeah. I, I, I got to. Yeah, I gotta put that up. But yeah, uh, you can use uh, you can use your talk for sure. I think uh, we're gonna keep the logo, but anything else, yeah, have at it. Do whatever you want with it. Yep, that's your little bugger. And the more awareness you can raise about that little bugger, the better. So, t-shirts. Love it. Stuff, we gotta we gotta get we gotta put them on some tacos, you know? Yeah, dude, tacos. That's awesome. I can't wait. Taco yes. tacos. Taco tacos. But yeah, that was the one cool thing about this this project was when I was first getting into it. Um, I was aware of NFTs and stuff like that, but I wasn't really looking at generational PFPs or anything like that. And seeing people like get their stuff and then go, wait, do I own this now? And we're like, yes, you bought it. Go have fun with it. Do whatever you want. You know? This is why this is why I had to come into this space. I know about this. This is why I felt this vibe, bro. This is why I said the Taco Tuesday. See, I'm here for a purpose. Visual, come on, bro. You know the vibe. You know why I'm here. Hey, hey, hey oh, I, I know why you're here. Which one of us bought the tox first? Like, how did we? How did we discover tox? I it was Stop. you, Pete. You're, you're the Stop. original talk founder. Right? Bro. Ah, that's right. Hey, what, I was looking we'll talk for, about it um, offline. I was kidding. looking at the clay. First, and he's, he's, the, he's the he's the talk founder. Man. Hey, the talk hey, you're talking. You're, talk, talk, hey, you're talk. talking too much right now, hey, man. But for real though, there's like a taco that. project. I own the NFT to it. It's on Solana, and they uh they give you a taco bag for like in real life restaurants in California or something. And so it's funny you guys said that. Is it, oh is, it a, a genera- is it a generated piece? Like you get like lettuce on one. And yeah, other, you know, but there's weird. You get like a razor blade on some shit. Like you get some weird shit on the taco, bro. Like, let me look for my tacos. I'll be right back. All right, give me give me a couple minutes, bro. <laughs> this fucking guy. Yes, please. You need a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Listen. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> get, get, take a fucking break. All right, let's get to somebody else here, man. Oh my goodness. Um, we got. Let me see. It looks like vibes. Vibes. What's good? What's going on, fellas? Can you hear me? We can what's hear up, you loud and clear. What's the vibes? What's going on? Voice, what's man? going on? Hey, finally, finally. Shout out to the late night talk family. Liz, Candice, everybody scribbles. It's fun at night if you guys get on. Hey, you Can were, you guys hear me? Yeah, you're a big part of that, man. I mean, really. Like, it's like, uh, it's so cool. Um, to see you come in there and just vibe it out and having fun and always coming up with clever ideas. And uh, I don't know. You just got a real good mood about it, man. We love it. 
Hey, I try my best. I try my best. I don't know if you guys can hear this because the noise cancellation is pretty good, but let's see if everybody can hear this. We got you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was about to say because uh, uh, whenever you <laughs> jump it, whenever you jump into the Discord, you always have like an 18 wheeler like doing something crazy. I'm like, that's so funny. Because my dad used to yeah, he used to drive trucks, and I used to go on the road with him for for month, like months on end, and it was so much fun. Thank you. Yeah, we were talking about that that one time, man. Yeah, we we try our best out there in the Discord, but you know, with the, with the truck drivers, your dad, you already know how much fun it can be out there. But it sucks being away from home. But at least I get to go home every day now. But it's after a few years, you know. At first, it wasn't like that, but now it is. So it's fun, you know. When we get on a Discord, we always find some way to have fun, even if there's a few of us, there's a lot of us. It doesn't matter. We figure out something to do, and it's enjoyable, you know. Overall, everybody has a good time. I love that horn, <laughs> but yes, <definitely>. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, the air horn is there for you know. I just had to give a shout out to everybody that's around. Let them know that I'm on Twitter Space with Tox. That's what the air for, air horn was for. Love it, love it, man. That's dope. That's <laughs> very dope. Vibes, man. You got hey, you got to hit us with something though, man. You got you got a joke, man. Some oh, bars, no, got... something. Nah, all, all I got, I got a, I got a serious question, and then you know, I got myself a little dad joke because I am a dad afterwards. But let's go with the serious question first. You know, this, this for the talks. You know, you guys uh, have said it on Discord and a few different uh, interviews that had you dropped at a different time frame, it would have done a whole lot better. So my question is. In that response, what do you say to the same projects that were able to drop within the same time frame with the war going on and were successful? Yeah, a lot of them were say like uh, uh, Invisible Friends. I, I knew that was that was definitely uh, uh, definitely going to happen for sure. Like we everybody knew that. Uh, and then uh, you had a uh, uh, Trent actually who who I've spoken to. He actually lives re really close by me. He did a, he actually did a Clay Friends. But uh, Trent, Trent's done really well. He he uh, uh, he started out on uh, YouTube, and he's got he's probably got over a million followers on YouTube, and then I think his Instagram is probably one hundred twenty five thousand, something like that. So he's got a a huge following, and he was able to do a lot of stuff. And he, and Clay Friend, he that guy is he is absolutely amazing, like one of the uh, probably one of my favorite artists out there. Like if you his name's Trent Shy. Uh, he's out of Charleston, South Carolina. But if you can look up any of his stuff, prior stuff, including Clay Friends is amazing. But a lot of the work he did, like, stop motion-wise, it's some of the best, best stuff ever. So I'm so happy he was able to uh, have that success. But, you know, it's we, we, <clears throat> we're, uh, I mean, we're a small project for sure. And uh, not to say we would completely min it out because I never thought that we would, it would be instantaneous. Like, that's just, not, it would have been cool if it happened, but uh, it it wasn't meant to be, I guess. It's not, it wasn't in the stars, but but we, it, it allows us to do, to be more creative in, in some aspects. Like a lot of the stuff we've been really uh, working on behind the scenes of like, all right, let's do this, let's do that. And it's allowed us to branch out and just, be different uh so a lot of that stuff's probably gonna be coming out here in the next geez hopefully a couple days but uh yeah so but yeah it's it's just one of the things like i know like and it's a bear market too so it's it's it's, it's been kind of hard on everybody also well, you you make a you make a good point uh with what you said uh especially invisible friends because i like the fact that you brought up invisible friends because ultimately what made Invisible Friends so successful is the community that they had. They had so many people in their community. That's what made it successful. But to make a point as far as how their community goes and the talk community goes, I actually had OG and in Invisible Friends. And all I had to do was verify my wallet before the 21st. And I would have been able to get Invisible Friends. No ifs, ands, or buts. But instead, on the 21st, I was doing the pre-sale. So I completely forgot about Invisible Friends. But hey, that goes to show where the fun is. That's where I go. Hell yeah, man. Did, so did you, were you able to get one? Uh, no, nah, because I didn't verify my wallet. I was too busy with the pre-mint having fun with that. 
Oh, yeah. I, I, I was getting notifications, so I couldn't. It was going in and out. Can you, can you hear me now? Yeah, I got you now. Now, I was saying that uh, I wasn't able to get Invisible Friends because I was so busy with the pre-sale, having fun with that, that I didn't verify my Invisible Friends wallet. So I wasn't able to get one. And I had OG with Invisible Friends. So all I had to do was verify my wallet. But hey, uh, man, I went where the fun was. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, you know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You got to talk it up. Always. That's great, man. The vibes, man, direct to that question. You know, I mean, it's again, we are we are a very, very um small, small team of people. Uh, even all the way up to drop, even post drop. Like a lot of us still have jobs and everything, and we're hustling as hard as we can. But basically, it's like we're just gonna we're gonna take this core of people that you know believe, and um, we're gonna be able to reward them in a lot of different ways. You know, for following along and stuff. So, <clears throat> you know, even though we didn't hammer at home and sell out yet or whatever we're not um we're very adaptive and uh we've got plans and um i can't say too much but um it's all gonna be uh hopefully taken care of and there's a lot of cool things like tyler said that um that he wants to announce and we he just can't say it yet but it would definitely um it would definitely excite you so uh stay tuned <laughs> you know hey, hey i'm here i'm here for the long ride man here to have fun with you guys but you know now that you brought that up now i got another hard-hitting question uh, early before, Tak said that uh, he gets bored easily and he moves on to different things. So what keeps you around with Talk that you're going to keep that momentum going? Uh, he's uh, contractually obligated to the talks for like the rest of his life now. I mean, when he gets busy with other, <laughs> when he gets yeah. busy with other things, it's going to be other things related to the talks for like a long time. I mean, he's super creative about the project inside the project even now. You know, like it was never on us to think like, okay, drop and then sit back and it's all cool and it's fun no we had like all these plans in place and all these things we want to do and surprise stuff like that that you know it he's already got his uh he's already got his work orders on what he needs to get done uh for like quite a quite that's a while cool. well but yeah that's the one thing you, you gotta work you gotta constantly work like like when i'm not working I'm, i just feel like i'm i'm wasting my time but but the good thing like well like you said uh uh you can get bored easily but that also goes back you know because as i'm doing this i'm like you know let's go make a video for tox let's i'm gonna make a stop motion animation for it like it's that kind of thing it can still revolve around the same uh thing that i'm working on because i just like to work like constantly work uh but uh, uh what i mean get bored on is you know if i'm i like this i like to change it up and just do something different understandable you like to be creative and just keep the momentum going in different directions but still with the overall big picture of the talks yeah that makes sense it makes sense yeah you know it's like you know if i want to do a a video and uh put it up or uh like i said we i think we've shot we have like three videos that we're um, i'm kind of editing trying to figure out some things how to work around it and things like that but but we're it's it's getting there and uh like i said it's fun it's you just find ways to 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 do something different that's pretty much all it is agreed agreed definitely understand vibes you got that joke for us man yeah 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 i got that joke you know since what i do is i deliver gas for a living you know that's why you hear the air horn the truck and everything so it's got to be a gas joke you know it has to so my question is well my joke is What's similar between a talk and a gas car and a car? You bought in order to own one, you have to pay the gas fees. Uh huh. Okay, okay. I dig it. I dig it. I like. Let's it. see. Let's see what else uh, we got over here. I, I'm going to recognize a couple people I see in the room. The speakers, MMA, Billy, my new homies. And I got a couple requests popped in. But um, before I get to you guys, let me get to uh, No Holas, who's been waiting for a little bit. What's good? All right. Later, fellas. Later, Vibes. Peace out, Vibes. No Holas, you there?
Okay, guess not. We'll uh, try you back in a couple minutes. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate oh, it. I appreciate everything you guys are doing. Um, hold on. Let me lower my salsa music. Hold on. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, tama, tama. Thank you for everything you guys are doing on the space. Um, I just wanna. Um, let me let me clean my hair real quick. <clears throat> Thank you for everything. Um, uh, you guys have been doing good on the space and everything. I just, um, I don't have no dad, dad jokes or anything like that. I just, um, this is the first time I talked on any space. Um, but, um, but thank you for everything and the opportunity for let me talk. Um, and visual. You've been very good and very clear. Um, all all your spaces that you 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 had, and but um, and I like all your spaces. And I don't know if you can hear me. Hold on, let me lower my my salsa music. We got you. We got you nice and clear, brother. We got not you nice and clear. Um, but um, uh, I just um. I just been very upset, you know, this past couple of days. Um, um, I don't know if you got my my DM for you know from earlier. You know, I don't know if this is the, the space to talk about that, but um, you know, um, my son got suspended the other day for seven days from school for a um, for high school for a cell phone violation. For a cell phone violation, um, and um, it's been bothering me on March first for a cell phone violation, and it's been bothering me like crazy. And then they send two cops to my house, and it's been bothering me like crazy. And you know, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm a former police officer. I'm a military vet and everything. And and it's just been driving me like crazy. And I'm just like, why the hell did they just didn't call me to the school? Like, they just sent two cops to my, excuse my language. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to nobody. You know what I'm saying? In this space, because you guys are always being nice and respectful, and you guys are nice and pretty, you know? And you guys are just nice on the spaces. But just. Uh, but this is saying two fucking cops to my fucking house to serve me a cell phone fucking, excuse my language, cell phone violation. For my son. That is absolutely ridiculous. And uh talk, go through that. That sucks. You know, and I've been. Um, ain't no hold on, man. I I understand you you're obviously upset, man, and I definitely want to, you know, whatever I could do as far as, you know, listening to what you got going on, man. Definitely here to to make some time for you what i would recommend right now at the moment though you know since you do sound but, kind but of upset can't... and it's it's something that's 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 um you know obviously bothering you i would suggest man just kind of hang out with us man you know we're here but having guys, a good time but, we're we're, but, we're trying but, to but yes but you guys are being awesome and you guys yeah. are being great but i mean i love your spaces and you guys are being you know you know like i said i've been i mean you know, i'm a you know I'm a vet, you know, and I love your spaces. You know, sure. I'm not here for I'm not I'm not here for fucking to give excuse my language again. I'm not here for a giveaway. I'm not here for nothing. I'm here for learning for I love the the web three. I'm here to sure. learn about NFTs and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? I love I love all this stuff, you know. I love the way you guys joke around, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to learn, you know. I'm disabled, you know what I'm saying? I can't do shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to learn about everything. I'm retired. You know, I can't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> I just gotta stay at the house. It's all you know? good, man. You know what? Yeah. 
Um, I got I, I got a wife I got a I got a wife and three kids and a dog. My 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 um my puppy's right here next to me, you know. Trying to take care of me, you know what I'm saying? So you know. And um so You know what, can I just say something? I don't wanna dismiss the fact that you're going through things. Um I I appreciate you sharing what you're going through. Um I do find that sometimes spaces can be a form of good therapy, uh, not real therapy, but you know what I mean? Um, you know, a slight distraction from what you have going on. Um, definitely good thing you have a puppy or a dog and your family there for you. That's definitely important. And um, also that know that you can kind of like reach out in the DMs that's also a um, nice option. And um, you know what? It, it was very courageous for you to share that. And, um, you know, again, these spaces can be um, a way for people to connect with you and, and hear you out with what you're going through. Because we all go through different things, right? We definitely do. So um, I hope everything gets better for you. Um, as a mom myself, it's kind of like a little bit of way of me reaching out in a way saying, you know, you'll get through this. Um, it is a bit of a crappy situation, but just keep your head up. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, definitely, brother. Just, um, you know, keep your head up. Just vibe out with us, man. I appreciate you, you, you dropping in. I know you've been in a couple of my spaces, and I, and I definitely appreciate that, man. It's always good to see you. And um, yeah, just, just kick it with us, man. Hang out for a little bit. Hang out. You know, listen to us. Um, hopefully, that'll help you get things, you know, cleared up on your mind and and get your mind off what's bothering you, man. So, just hang out with us, man. We're gonna bring a couple more people up, talk about the project, and you know, hopefully get to a couple of the things that they got going on, um, you know, some some jokes or, or some talents or whatever they got. I, I want to say real quick, too, I commend you for your courage to go on here and speak. Yes, um, because 100%. It's terrifying to come on these things and talk sometimes. So with everything you got going on, like, I appreciate your courage to come out here and speak and, and say some stuff. Like, it, it takes bravery to actually come out and say, hey, I'm, things aren't going well for me right now. And so thank you for, thank you for speaking your mind and, and showing us your heart. Thank you. Yes, 100%, man. Um, but yeah, like I said, just uh, hang out with us, man. Hopefully, um, it, it'll bring some calm to you, some peace to you. And uh, we're going to move on to, to the next person. Billy, I know you've been in the room with us for a little bit, man. Go ahead and um, pop in, man. Let us know what's on your mind. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Uh, first of all, big up Bullish. He's always knowing what to say. And um, I've been listening for a while now. And I like the look of the art. So I thought I'd drop you a little joke in it. Try, try and get my hands on one. But before I do that, I want to shout out all the Kongs in the chat. I see a few fellow Kongs in the chat, so big up all the gangs of Kongs. But my joke for you lot today is, um, why did the sperm cross the road? Why? Because I wiped it on the wrong sock last night. <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> That's what I got for you lot today. Billy, man, he, he, he was with us hanging out yesterday in a, in a Kong chat, man. He definitely came with it. I love it. That's good stuff, Billy. <laughs> you wild, I, I, man. I like the fact that he's been here for a while waiting, and that was the joke. Exactly. Oh, Billy, man, you a wild guy. I love that, man. That's that's Big awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you seeing seeing you in here again, man. Much respect. Much respect. Love, bro. Uh, let's see who else we got out here. Got a couple people been waiting around. Let's get to knots. What's good? What's up? What's up? Talk scribbles. How y'all doing, brother? What's up, knots? Chilling, bro. Chilling. Just vibing with you guys. I popped in. I saw you guys had the spaces. Been busy as fuck, but just wanted to stop by and say what's up. Uh, no jodas. Thank you for your service, brother. I know you're going through some dark times, but. Things will get better. Just I want to I want to thank you for your military service, brother. Thank you so much. Um, and talk. I just want to give you a personal apology, bro. I won't be at South by Southwest. It's it's right down the street, but I'll be in uh, I'll be in New York uh, with with Sebastian at the time. So I'm I'm gonna miss that, bro. I'm, oh, that's I'm stinks, salty about it. You get to hang out with Sebastian. That's that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, 
Yeah, I just wanted to chime in, man. I was listening to your spaces. I heard talk about, you know, why the project didn't sell out, et cetera, et cetera. Um, look, guys, just stay focused on what you got going. Those numbers will play out. You guys are really good people. You got a really strong community. And uh, communities like yours are really hard to find. So the people that are here, they're going to stay here. And uh, just keep grinding. And those numbers will, will start to get smaller and smaller. And before you know it, you'll have a sold out line. Uh, we're pushing for you guys. We love you guys. And I uh, just wanted to share some positive vibes tonight. Thank you so much, Knots. Love you guys. Hey, we, uh, well, and shout out to uh, Notorious. I know Notorious isn't here right now, but we had seen what had happened. And um, we're going to we're gonna make things good for him, too, on our end. Uh, try to pick Notorious' spirits back up. That sucked what happened to him and his wallet. So but we have plans for that. That was a big uh, conversation today. <laughs> so... That's, I mean, that's the kind of stuff our team sits around and thinks about when we're not just trying to figure out the next craziest thing to do to, to sell this out. We're like, wait, our friends are in trouble. Okay, we're going to figure that out. So shout out to you, Nazi. You've always been there for us. Thank you so much. And uh, we wouldn't probably even understand how to build that community if it wasn't for the uh, leadership of the rabbits and taught us. You gave us the secrets to the sauce. So thank you so much. Always love hearing from you. Anytime, brother. Anytime. And, uh, you know, uh, the talks are, I, I've got, you know, I've got a bunch of them. I know you guys are going to do amazing. I know that, you know, you, you, you dropped at a really unfortunate time. Uh, the space, you know, we just have to do better as a community, right? Because there's a lot of BS in the space right now. And uh, as long as we're part of these good communities and we mentor each other, take care of each other, we're all going to be okay. Um, it's just unfortunate that you guys dropped right when the war kicked off you know and uh but big props to you guys uh, the next 2222 mints are going to ukraine like who fucking does that man that that's just speaks volumes of who the talks are who you guys are as people um i'm rocking with you guys till the wheels fall off man love you guys i don't have any jokes tonight just here to share share some positive vibes and uh that's all i got for you guys man love you guys well, that's more than enough. Thank you. Thank more you. than enough. Thank you, pal. Yes, man. That's awesome. Awesome, man. Thank you for being part of the squad. And um, definitely, man, that, that uh, 2,222, that's a big deal, man. Definitely salute to you guys for that. We touched on it earlier, and uh, I think that's a big deal. Let's get to... Um, I just want to King... say, quick, um, not oh. the uh, leader of the Mad Rabbits Riot Club, and uh, we're all members of that club as well. And... Um, my god like if you've never seen you want to see like a really killer community that are just their discord alone the way they handle twitter the way they handle spaces it's like everyone should be kind of looking up to a group like that because they do it all right and it's like and uh yeah i just want to say thank you to the to the rabbits they're always in our heart they're always a rabbit a rabbit for life appreciate that scribbles uh we love you guys man we love it everything about your project and for everybody who's listening here don't be concerned with this team this team is not here to rug you they're here to put out a quality project and uh if you guys can just give them a little patience let them sell out their line and let them thrive they're gonna do amazing tox has been in the space forever he's been creating amazing work over on the tezos network so he's got a proven track record he's an amazing artist uh, Scribbles locked his ass in the basement for three months so he could make 10,000 of these things. So they finally let him out and, and just let him be great. He's going to be great. I know you guys are going to smash it. I'm just so scared he's going to put me back in that damn basement. <laughs> <laughs> man, sounds rough. Sounds rough, Tyler, man. I, I'll, I'll pray for you, man. Hopefully you don't got to get back in that basement and get get whipped and miss meals and things like that, man. That's a well, tough they, life they as a creator. Well, they feed me pancakes. They feed me pancakes because it slides under the door very easily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Maybe the maybe the Tox will actually come out and uh, rescue you one day, man. You know, when, when they get some time from uh, trying to take over the world, they'll uh, come and free I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in the damn room with them. That's... Oh, that's, that's, that's the worst the part. Problem. That is the problem. Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry. I guess there's no there's no win for you, man. That's it. You're you're a talk for life. <laughs> talk for life. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get to uh, King of Fling. What's good with you? 
Hey, homies. Uh, not too, not doing too much. Just saw Talk was in the space, and I'm a holder and a big fan of the project, so I thought I'd come in and say hi and cheers and everything. Good. Um, Are you not king? Yeah, I'm good. Can you hear your uh, voice? Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, no, I've been been busy, been busy with with some projects and stuff like that. But you know, it, it's all good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess if I have to come up with a question, like, um, so a lot of uh, I find a lot of fun in collaboration in the NFT space. Um, but I'm also I'm curious, like, with the complexity of of clay sculpture NFTs, like. What does that process look like for you in the future? Uh, I've got I've gotten a little faster doing doing them. So, uh, <laughs> but the future, I, I just plan on keep making them. Uh, at some point, I'm going to I want to do more like a, a actual stop motion, make some like you know quick you know ten second loops. That's I, and I've done I've done it a couple times, but I really want to get into uh, actually with the puppet making and uh probably some uh, you know molding silicone stuff like that but that's pretty much my plan dude that's really cool uh um yeah because it's like um with a lot of the traditional 2d art stuff man the like run-up time from like conception to production is it can be really short um so i i don't envy the the production you know mastery that has to come in here but man the final product is absolutely worth it you've got something really really unique and i fell in love with it and every homie i've shown it to has fallen in love with it uh, and i think once the grander nft community uh takes a takes a good look and gets an eye on it i think they're all going to fall in love with it too oh thank you so much yeah it was it was definitely uh it was a long drawn out process uh you know when you when you do these things especially now because so many people get rugged and no one knows really uh, if a project's actually legit and and uh and i always said you know if you can find an artist that worked on the project for you know four or five months i was like chances are it's not going to be a rug because and if they did that's pretty incredible <laughs> you know but uh uh yeah, so it's like I said, it's it's hard to figure out who is who, but you know, the art was there and the time that it took, you know, just you just can't. And I can't even possibly, you know, walk away from it at this point because, you know, it, it's, it's such a big part of my life now. Like, and I, uh, I, you know, you just you just keep going because I, I want to do so much more with it, and 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 I am going to do more with it, no matter no matter what. So. Uh, I'm just ready to get back to the grind. You know, that's like the one thing too, you know, it's like, you know, when you're doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff, trying to uh, figure things out and uh, like creativity, like, because I'm more of a creative and I, and I, when I work, I, I, I enjoy working and working, you know, ma making art. And uh, when I'm not doing it, I get really just frustrated and I'm like, Ugh. so uh, I find ways to, you know, to do something, but, yeah, I'm just I'm just super excited and ready to get back to to actually sculpting again. And I will say um, directly to answer that question about collaborations and 2D to clay and how that would kind of work. Um, there's some really good works that Tyler's done with like uh, he has made a uh, clay rabbit um, that came out stunning um, of his own rabbit, and then we were we we're doing some giveaways over there with uh, clay rabbits. And uh, he has also done a clay uh, lonely alien. Um, so it's neat to see like uh, two-dimensional projects be all talkified and weird and uh, with Tyler's hands all over them, but it, it comes out really beautiful. Like no matter what he seems to to screw with, and everybody's art he can just work with, and it, it's been amazing to see this stuff come out. I, I was so yeah. I, I worked. Uh, I did a uh, collaboration with a uh, 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 escalator. Uh, he's an Italian artist, and he's he's amazing. But he does a lot of paintings, and uh, he asked me once. And he goes, "Do you want this?" Is kind of when I when I was starting out. So we did a collab where he uh, he uh, he painted his portion out, sent it over to me. Then I kind of sculpted around it and tried to do something different with it and uh, shoot it back. I, I got another project I'm working on with a, uh, a guy named Cullen Colors. He's he's amazing. He sent me this project. He finished it, uh, geez, months ago, and I just had no time. I've uh, worked on it a bit, and it's more of a stop motion feel to it. So it's taking me a little longer. But uh, I'm hoping to really get back into finishing that up for him because he drops on a he's a a super rare guy. So that 
piece would be on Super Rare, so I'm excited to get that done. Uh, that's all. That's all sounding good, my dude. Uh, by the way, everybody in the audience, if you haven't seen the video that's on the Tox NFT website yet, uh, it's criminally underviewed and it's amazing. <laughs> so definitely go yes. check that out because it's so good, and I want more content like that from you guys so badly. Uh, please keep making cool things like that, and I think the project will eventually just, you know, once the eyes fall on it, man, oh, everyone yeah. will fall in love with it. Yeah, th those videos are coming for sure. It's coming, baby. Hell yeah. Perfect. That's that's all the alpha I needed. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah, we were just, we were talking about that earlier. I love that video, and I think they definitely need to push that out a little bit more. It's, it's, it's so awesome, and I'm glad to hear that there's more stuff like that coming. Definitely looking forward to that. Can you hear me? We got you. All right, make it short. My my phone keeps going. Like it, it keeps reconnecting. I don't know what's going on. It's 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 those talks, man. They're, they're messing That's with your exactly phone. What it is. It's the talks. Yep, they're out like, there. As, and soon as, as soon as this space started, it was like reconnecting, reconnecting. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. So okay, yeah. I think or, I got it now. or it could be that reception in the basement. That's that's probably <laughs> that's giving probably you a hard time. <laughs> 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 oh man um billy what's up yo what's up i've got another quick one in it um i'm trying to find the talks on open c what, what should i be typing in oh type in the talks you can also go to talks yeah but the talks uh just pop that in and it should pop I, right I did, up i did put that in to begin with and i didn't find anything it's the uh, talks like uh t-h-e space t-o-k-s wait wait what's up it's, it's the box with the T-H-E. Oh, okay. Okay, I wasn't doing the it's. Sweet. Yes, sir. And you know what, uh, gentlemen, somebody was asking me earlier, too, what are the talks minting for? Uh, 0 0.05. Excellent. 0 0.05. Awesome. And do you guys know roughly how many are left? I think I think we're all at four. What, five, five, what, do you know that, Scribbles? I don't have my computer. Yeah, that, but aside from what's allocated and stuff like that, um, we're getting, or what we know we're taking out. Um, Eventually, it's, it puts us at about, like, uh, I keep losing track of the numbers because I hate those numbers, but, um, like, 4,000 now or something like that, we've sold. Okay. Nice. 1,000 left. Awesome. Awesome. That's good. That's good. So, you guys hear that? If you do not have a talk, there's 05, and um, there's plenty out there for you guys to get. And I think one of the best parts about it is the next 2,222 are going to Ukraine, and... Um, that's that's amazing so yeah are, and it's, uh, it's just good to what you know what the nft community has done for you know donations and things like that and it's like you, you, you i feel like every project from now on if, when i do something i want to give i, I want to find a charity and because you know a lot of these and we're not gonna make a ton of money but a lot of these projects you know they'll make millions and millions and you know it's like you know why not donate some of it it's for help i mean i, I think that's probably the best utility you can possibly have Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see. Did we get to everybody? I think we might have got to everybody. Um, unless there's anybody last minute that wants to pop in that hasn't requested, that might have some uh, insight, a question, anything that they want to ask, um, please do. Um, and if we don't hear from you very soon, I think we're going to get to uh, who is getting a talk. Who's getting a talk? Tyler, do you have an idea of how you want to figure this out, man? We heard some people with some funny stuff, and I think they're all pretty much here still in the room. Uh, they're all pretty good. I was uh, going through How many did we have? Uh, I wrote them down. Hold on. We yeah, had we had, let me see, we had in the room that told us a joke that's still here is bullish. Um, let me see who else we had. Shizzle, we had Billy, we had Newfound Voice. Devils came in from the computer and sent in his joke. Uh, who else, who else, who else is in here? We had uh, Greg Smith. Yes, Greg Smith was in here. Vibes. Vibes. Uh, can, can I say something real quick? I just want to ask, where is Joanna? 
<laughs> Where is Joanna? That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Scribbles, do you know? Oh my god! I, I wish I had taken her name, and I mean, now finding Joanna on the internet would be impossible. But we had a nice space one time where this, these two people seemed to be just invading our space to hook up or change digits or something, and it just got weirder and weirder. But boy, it was a uh, hilarious times. So I... No, it was like some guy who had you know like probably a hundred thousand followers. I guess he was a pretty big deal. And this girl was just fan fangirling over him, and she was trying to get in the DM, and we were like, "All right, what's going on?" But Scribbles just, you know, kept trying to talk to her, bring her back into the space. So the the talks are also matchmakers, is what you're telling me. That's what we do. Wow, nice. Look at that, people. Talk about utility. These guys are coming out of everywhere, man. Matchmakers. <laughs> love it um we had somebody that dropped off earlier was in as a speaker i just brought him back in it's my new friend the mma fool what's good you there mm. looks like he's not okay well I think we got to everybody unless MMA fool pops in and, and gets unrugged. So, Tyler, what's up, man? What are you thinking? All right, let's see. We had one, two, three, four. So, uh, is uh, nine? Was it around nine people? I believe. I, I want to say that sounds about a, like yeah. It sounds yeah. like it was probably eight or nine ish people in in there. Yeah, let's. Uh, I think they all need one, really. Oof. Man, I knew that was coming. I just <laughs> knew that was coming, man. Can I just say you thank you so much. Like, I knew honestly, that was coming, man. That is phenomenal. My man. That, My now man. I feel like I'm a part of the family. And My I man. heard you guys talking for the whole, well, almost the whole space. And like where you guys are going, how creative you guys are. I think this is awesome. And then I'm, I'm almost considering putting my talk on a, a a black shirt get it pressed on and then wear it at south by southwest so hey, let's and, go. And there like, you go and i let's like it go. Talk, talk to me i like it talk to me i like that it flows. <laughs> i love it tacos and talking we're talking tacos and talking. Tacos. i love it i love it that's awesome man that is great that's an awesome move right there so you guys know if you were in here We've got you guys written down. Um, I don't know. I think. Uh, what do you think, Tyler? Should um, they just message you guys directly, yeah, yeah, or you want out, me to facilitate that? Up, uh, uh, through uh, the talks uh, Twitter, or uh, they can go to Talk Block and they can just shoot me a uh, uh, shoot me a DM. Uh, I gotta see if my DMs are even open. They should be. But if they're if if my DMs aren't open. Go over to the talks and you can send it there and uh just drop in your uh wallet address and i'll send it right over boom look at that lovely lovely thank you so much oh you're very welcome thank you for the joke <laughs> yes yes we appreciate that and um gentlemen unless uh you guys have anything else to add in uh why don't we get some final words here and just sign off so sad how it's, I know. oh geez it's been almost two hours it just flew by yeah it's been two hours man yeah i know it flies by man i feel like we could do a couple more but man that would just be insane i'd feel like i'd be locked in a basement if i did that yeah it's uh. funny when i do when i do these spaces it's really hard for me to sit down because uh I have to, anytime i'm on the phone if i'm talking to somebody i have to walk around constantly like, like a madman and so that's pretty much what i've been doing i'm like oh my god i've been pacing for two hours i need that exercise you know <laughs> yes, sir. We should require all listeners on future spaces with talks to pace frantically while they listen to it. We'll all exercise together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should start Twitter spaces. Exercising with talks. <laughs> we just walk around. Exercising with talks. Or, or they could like be somebody that like tweaks out when they take an edible and their anxiety is like going crazy. So they're pacing because of that. That'd be pretty good that space too. too. 
taking gummies with Tox. We can do all kinds taking of Taking gummies with Tox. I'll definitely host that shit, dude. I'll pop one and I'll start fucking freaking out and then fucking talking frantically, opening up my blinds and looking out the window and shit, thinking the cops are at the door and hey, hey, just on the face the whole time. That'll be a hell of an experience. Looking looking through blinds with Tox, you know? We can just go around <laughs> to different uh, neighborhoods and just look through the window. <laughs> <laughs> report back on what we see. I might even see something. Oh like my god! Oh my god! Um, so for, amazing. My final words. I just want to say thank you so much for setting up this space and uh, letting us speak. And thank you, uh, all the people that are saying I see you, no cap. I see you, Joel, Kells, everybody out there. So like, uh, just it's so cool to see our people out there and um, Candace and Liz and SPG and everybody. And but especially to you guys for setting us up, so giving us a space and giving yes, us yes. Space. This panel thing for Tyler is huge um, for him. Yes, thank you so much. It's just a big deal, and, and thank you uh, again. This has been awesome. Uh, that's that's it from Scribbles for now. <laughs> awesome, Tyler. What's up, man? Oh, that Sorry. basement was reconnecting like... issues again. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Did you pace across the highway? Well, yeah, that's probably what it is. I'm just walking around too much. But yeah, anyway, but yeah, I want to thank everybody for joining us. I mean, uh, uh, you know, if, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just thanks, thanks to you guys for even hosting this and uh, allowing us to speak and then uh, allowing us to, uh, you know, speak in Texas. That's uh, fill, fill a dream, you know, see Austin. Tyler, I have a quick question for you. If, Shoot, uh, my man. Let me ask, um, who are you? Uh, <laughs> scribbles um oh. <laughs> master of sorts so anyway um i want to say that uh uh liz has the uh, royal rumble uh function set up in the discord ready to go if we want to if anyone wants to pop onto our discord and check it out if you haven't been there before and maybe we could even give away a talk on that possibly yeah why the hell not why the hell not so let's party in the discord let's pump it out on twitter we're gonna do a little royal rumblings over there on the discords and uh Someone's going to win a talk over there. Thanks to Liz, our Discord master. Thank you, Liz. Okay, Tyler, now we say goodnight to everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, go ahead, uh, Tyler. Give us some final words, man. So, uh, <laughs> final words. Thank you. Don't do drugs. Uh, I mean, I don't... I, do drugs. <laughs> Don't or do drugs. I, I don't, don't know. know. Uh, but yeah, again, I just want to say thanks to you guys. I mean, you made two hours fly by. I got my workout in, uh, pace around, smoke some cigarettes, drink some water. You guys are you guys are amazing. Awesome, man. Appreciate you, Scribbles, Tyler, all the talk holders in the building. Everybody that's getting the talk tonight. Everybody that spoke. Thanks for the jokes. Thanks for the good times. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you stay in tune with me and everything we're doing. Um, you see, I see Web3. There is the host. Please follow that. Stay tuned to the podcast and the show. Follow me. Get in tune with me. If you need to reach out for, to me for anything, please feel free to DM me. They're wide open. And until next time, peace, blessings, hundreds of lessons. Good night, everybody. A thousand years of tox. A thousand years, Tyler. Peace and love, everybody. Have a good night. Peace and love, Nats. Later, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Big love, bro. Keep doing your thing. <laughs>